Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we're going to be talking about rotation in Niagara. Specifically, we're going to be talking about sprite rotation and mesh rotation. These are kind of fundamental. So I've gone ahead and set up this project with a master material. And in this master material, I have a base color that's set to white and I have a particle color. And then I've created a material instance from that master material. I also made a new emitter from a blank template. And in here on the sprite renderer, I put my material instance in the material. So we're going to start with the sprite renderer and where we want to go to rotate the sprite is in particle update. So we click in here and we type in rotation. We're looking for sprite rotation rate. And immediately after we add that, if you hit play, you just see that this is starting to rotate really slow. So we can bump that up to something like 15. And if we look at that, we'll see that this is rotating to the right. So if we wanted to go in the opposite direction, we do negative 15. And you'll see that it starts to rotate to the left. But say that we had more than one particle and we want to have different rotation rates. How do we do that? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my spawn burst. I'm going to make this spawn two particles. And then in particle spawn, I'm going to add a little bit of velocity so we can see them separate. And this velocity, I'm going to make it into a uniform range vector. And I'm going to set all the maximums to three. And they should separate. And if we test that by playing, you'll see that they're both rotating at the same rate. So once again, how do we make them go at different rates? And there's a few ways we can do it. So in particle spawn, the first approach, we're going to go down to set new or existing parameter directly. And we're going to create a new parameter. We're going to create a float. And we'll just rename this to something like P rot. And in here, we're going to change this into a uniform range float. And we'll set the minimum to negative 30 and the maximum to 30. And now in our sprite rotation rate, if we go to rotation rate, click on the drop down, we're going to look for that parameter we just made, P rot. And now if we hit play, we just see that they're rotating in different directions or different rates. Now this is really important where we place that set. We place that set in particle spawn. So if we place this in particle update, this is going to have a different result. Instead, you're going to see that those values are being updated. It's not just getting that initial value and setting it. It's actually going back and forth between the negative 30 and the 30. That's why they're going to jitter or they're going to pick up speed at different times. So if you want to make sure you're setting the initial value, you want to make sure that this is in particle spawn. Now, another way that we can do this is we can make another set. And there's actually an existing parameter that we can play with. So if we click on the plus and we type in rotation, you'll see that there's this existing parameter called sprite rotation. And we can set it up similar to the other one. So we'll do a uniform range float. And we'll do negative 30 and 30. And then in our sprite rotation rate, we should be able to just go in here and type in rotation and we can choose that sprite rotation and then we'll try and play it but what you'll see is that these are picking up speed and they're they're updating they're ping-ponging between that negative 30 and 30 so this isn't what we want if we go back to that drop down we can type in rotation you'll see that there's two different sprite rotations there's initial sprite rotation and sprite rotation the difference between these is that this one, just sprite rotation, is going to update. It's going to ping pong. This initial sprite rotation, this is going to take that initial value. So we'll test that out. And you'll see that they have a consistent rotation now. All right, so let's look at meshes now. and clean some of this up, but I'm going to keep that P rot parameter that we set. And I'm going to turn off the sprite render. We're going to add a mesh renderer. And in here, we'll go to the particle mesh. And we're looking for something like a cylinder. And you'll see we have two cylinders up here. Let me just check this out. 
cool. So these aren't rotating yet. And once again, to get these to rotate, we're gonna wanna go to particle update. But if you type in rotation, you may not see what you're looking for. What we're looking for is update mesh orientation. And in here, you'll see what's the rotation vector. So what axis do you want it to rotate on? And then what's the rotation rate that you want? So in here, I'm gonna set the Y to something like, I don't know, 0.4. And then the rotation rate, we're gonna set this to 0.5. And if we test that out, you'll see that both of these are rotating. And once again, if you wanted these to rotate at different rates, all you need to do is come into the rotation rate and we would add that parameter that we made. We'll do PROT and just check that out. And we'll probably see them spinning really fast. Yep but you can see that they're rotating at different rates. All right, so this should cover rotation for sprites and for meshes. It's kind of simple, but it is fundamental. All right, guys, if you thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks, guys.